Hello, I'm SQL Server MVP Lynn Langett for Dun & Bradstreet. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at DNB's new Business Verification Office 365 application for Excel 2013. So we're going to do this through the lens of a customer scenario. And the idea is we want to provide a tool that our business analyst who uses Excel every day can use to complete a customer master list with verified DNB data sets. So in other words, they want to they have some customer information and they want to make sure that it's complete and correct. And they'll be doing this with business verification. So if you're not familiar with DNB's offerings, the way business verification works is the analyst provides via Excel some portion of the information. There are some fields that are required, um, company name and a couple other things. And then the DNB business verification service does a lookup and completes the record and associates a DUNS number and also can identify potential duplicate records to give a single complete view of a customer. So as I mentioned, this is very reliant on the DUNS number, which stands for Data Universal Numbering System, and it's a core part of the DNB offering. The DUNS number has been around since 19 1962. It's been adopted by the U.S. government, and it's linked, as it says here, to more than 225 million businesses worldwide. So it's really key to working with the DNB data, and this service um, allows you to associate the DUNS number with your customer information. So that being said, what is this Office 365 application? This is definitely something new. That's why we're creating this video. The idea is an application that you can download and install, and the application itself is free, but the service you'll have to pay for, of course. And it will extend the functionality of Office, in this case, uh, Excel and you're going to see the external resources in the task pane in Office. And it's going to be your DNB data set or data service. And it's a simple way to shape data and apps from inside Office applications. It's really easy to use, as you'll see in the upcoming demo. And I've clipped out a little part of the screen here, and I'll detail the steps on how to get it. But basically, you open Excel and you go to Apps for Office, and you search for a business verification. So once you get it, what you will see is you'll see a template that has a summary and which is uh, shown here on the top with how many records you're submitting for processing and then what the results are and this is actually going through a service that you can also look at through the Windows Azure marketplace basically the metadata is available there but it's really designed in this um, implementation to work with Excel 2013. Dun & Bradstreet has some other data services out in the Azure Marketplace, and we'll talk more about those as we uh, complete the screencast. So let's talk about the specific steps that we're going to show you on how to get and use the DNB business verifications for Excel. Basically, there's three parts to it. You need to install it, configure it, and run it. And uh, the, the version that we're going to work with does include a promo code so you can try it out for free with, I believe it's 100 records as we go through the demo. So the steps to installing, and I'll be demoing this in a second, but I just wrote them out so you can have them for reference, are you open Excel 2013, um, you go to the insert section, apps, apps for office, you search for business verification, and then you will find the DMB service, uh, you'll download the template, and then you'll install the template, and there's a button that pops up. Uh, you then configure your access, and you just click on the button on the uh, apps for office, which will open the business verification task pane, then you log into the Windows Azure data market and enter your promo code, which you'll see right on the task pane. And then you just remove the sample records in the template, the workbook, and put your own information in. And then when you, once you've got your own information, you just click the Run button in the task pane. So it's really just it's quick and easy. Install, configure, and run. So the field definitions for input are listed in this uh, slide here. And you can see that the company name is required and the country is country code is required and there's actually a reference in the template that gives you the two digit ISO codes for the countries and um, you also will put in the state if it's in the United States so that's re that's uh, required if it's in the United States so once you've run the verification this is just a snip of what you're going to get back what you'll see is you'll see whether the records were matched or not the DUNS number, the all-important DUNS number, which then gives you access to um, further information um, that Dun & Bradstreet has about these companies through other data services. The confidence code, 
which uh, talks about, as it says here, the quality of the match, um, 10 is higher, of course, and the match grade, which is a very fine-grained detail about how the match was done. And um, this is explained in the documentation, and I'll show you where that is when we get the template. So now we're going to switch over to the demo, and um, I will bring the template down and configure it and run it so you can understand how it works. And again, I just snipped out part of the screen showing you how to log in to the Windows Azure Marketplace with the task pane. So we'll see that in the demo. So I'm going to switch to demo now. So here I am inside of Excel 2013, and I'm on the Insert uh, section of the menu, and here's the Apps for Office. Now I have run this uh, before, so you'll see that I have the business verification already available. And you might have some other apps here as well. Um, and I'm just going to click on See All. And you can see that here is the store. So if you didn't have this, you just type in business verification. And then when it came up, you would just click on it. And then once you had installed it once, it would be in your shared folder, as you can see right here. Um, and then you could uh, use it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on business verification. And that's going to open this up. And because I cleared out my cache so I could show you how to um, do the logon, I have to re-download the template. So it's very self-explanatory in the task pane, tells you what um, you're going to be working with, shows you an example of the template, and then you just go ahead and, and click on the template. Now what's happening is this is uh, making the template available to you, so we're going to go ahead and open that. And the template is a required format, so you will want to use that. Now you're going to want to enable editing. And click on the Apps for Office in the Insert ribbon. Search on the Business Verification and Insert app. So here's Apps for Office, Business Verification. And that brings up the task pane where you do the configuration. Now notice over here, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our promo code. So we're going to need to log into the Windows Azure Marketplace, and we're going to enter the promo code, which is here. I'm just going to copy that. And you're going to get 100 transactions per month to get 100 uh, record access for one month to try this out. So we're going to log into the Windows Azure Marketplace. And because I've done this once before, you can see my subscription already exists. The next thing I need to do is I need to clear out the sample information. And just to kind of tour through that, you can see I've got company name, record ID, street address, um, city, state, zip code, and if I scroll over here, I have phone number, and I have, these are fake DUNS numbers. And you can see the roll up up here of 10 records with zero on match. So I'm just going to clear this out and put in some sample information. So I've put in three records, and you can see that my indicator up top shows that I have three records with no matches. And if I didn't know the country codes, I could look them up over here. Also, there is um, two different places for help. There's a help file right here, which explains how it works. And there is also a more detailed PDF over here that you can take a look at as well if you're um, wanting to know some of the details about how the matches are done. It's 19 pages. It's a little more detailed. So you might remember that I need to put in the company name and I need to put in the country code and I know it's US and it does have to be the correct country code. That's why there's that listing there. And then I'm going to put the state. So uh, Microsoft, the one that I want, is in Washington. Google's in California and Salesforce is in California. So now, because I've signed in, really that's all there's to it. So I'm going to go ahead and run business verification. So you can see that I have three records. I have zero unmatched. Here's the completed information. See, of course, this is because it's expecting more data. Um, I have these DUNS numbers, and then I have this match grade. So everything is complete. Now you'll also notice over in the template on the right, it tells you that the verification is completed, it's cleansed and verified, and it uh, reminds you that you have now the DUNS number and you can get additional business data from D&B, &D, and to do that you just click right here. 
and that's going to take you out to the Azure Data Market, and that just shows you one example of many different um, data service sets that are available um, from DNB that give you all kinds of information, and you can take a look at the details to understand here you pass in the DUNS number and you get a whole bunch of other information out. So um, kind of just the beginning of working with the information. So we saw in the demo that our analyst using this new service from DNB was able to create a complete customer file. So they did that by matching their customers with verified records in DNB's global database. And the output was a uh, combined customer master file that has verified DNB customer demographic data, the address, name, phone, and, and the very important point, the last point here, the customer master with the DUNS number, which opens the door to additional business data from DNB. So if you want to get started, follow the steps in the screencast or in the demo and go to the Azure store to get your trial access for the DNB company business verification for Office preview component. And uh, once you search for it through Excel, you'll download the template as I demonstrated. Then you'll sign in with the trial code to work with a free 100 records for a month. And as you uh, complete your data sets, you may want to take a look at some of the other Windows Azure Marketplace DNB offerings. And I just listed a couple here, company demographics, address and phone, company firmographics, industry information and sales information, and company family hierarchy related companies. So again, I'm Lynn Langett, SQL Server MVP for Dun & Bradstreet. Have a great day.